The Chatham School Affair is a gripping novel by Thomas H. Cook that explores the nature of memory and the power of the past to shape the present. The story is told from the perspective of Henry Griswold, a retired teacher who returns to his former school, Chatham School, for the funeral of a former student, Robert Lacey. As he wanders the grounds of the school, Henry becomes increasingly obsessed with the events that led up to Robert's death thirty years earlier, when he was just a student. The novel is structured as a series of flashbacks, with Henry narrating the events of the past as he remembers them. Through his recollections, we learn about the complex relationships that existed between the students and faculty at Chatham School. We also see how the past continues to haunt the characters in the present, as they struggle to come to terms with what happened all those years ago. One of the central themes of the novel is the nature of memory and how it can be manipulated over time. Henry is acutely aware of the fallibility of memory, and he acknowledges that his own recollections may be colored by his own biases and emotions. He is haunted by the memory of his former student, Robert Lacey, whom he had a close relationship with, and he is determined to uncover the truth about what happened to him. As he delves deeper into his memories, however, he begins to question the accuracy of his own recollections. Another important theme of the novel is the power of the past to shape the present. The events that took place at Chatham School thirty years ago continue to reverberate through the lives of the characters in the present day. Henry is still haunted by the memory of Robert Lacey, and he is unable to move on until he has uncovered the truth about what happened to him. Similarly, the other characters in the novel are all struggling to come to terms with the events of the past and the impact they have had on their lives. The characters in the novel are all complex and well-drawn, and Cook does an excellent job of showing how their lives intersected in ways that were both subtle and profound. The students at Chatham School were all from wealthy, privileged families, and the school itself was a kind of cocoon, sheltering them from the outside world. The faculty, too, were all products of the same privileged world, and they were all bound together by a web of secrets and lies. One of the strengths of the novel is its sense of atmosphere. Cook does an excellent job of evoking the mood of the school and the surrounding countryside, and he creates a palpable sense of tension and unease as the story unfolds. The novel is also notable for its pacing, which is slow and deliberate, allowing the reader to become fully immersed in the world of Chatham School and its inhabitants. In conclusion, The Chatham School Affair is a powerful and thought-provoking novel that explores the nature of memory, the power of the past, and the complex relationships that exist between people. Cook's writing is evocative and atmospheric, and his characters are complex and well-drawn. The novel is a must-read for anyone who enjoys literary fiction or psychological thrillers, and it is sure to leave a lasting impression on readers long after they have finished the final page.